He is terrified of you. And you say that he respects you, but it's not it's he not respect. Me. It's terrified. He is terrified of you. You need to be terrified of me too. It's shocking audio you will hear only on KCTV5. A recording of Tyreek Hill and his fiance Crystal Espinal discussing the criminal case and their son's broken arm. On Wednesday, the Johnson County DA said that a crime was committed. He just doesn't know who to charge. It concerns a three-year-old with a broken arm. Well, tonight you will hear directly from the parents as they discuss how to parent. It was sent exclusively to investigative reporter Angie Racono. We're told this was an insurance policy for Crystal and that this was recorded as the couple was walking through Dubai International Airport. It was given to a friend for safekeeping. It's been passed around. Now it's public. In it, Crystal and Tyreek talk about what happened. And Crystal repeatedly tells Tyreek that their son said, quote, Daddy did it. It also appears she's been covering up for the fiance convicted of abusing her. Because we were getting into it and he said, Daddy, you're me. And so we walked up the stairs right? and you and said, say, come, back. come back down here. Right. And he didn't want to go down there. But right. I was like, go down there right. because it'll end up worse for you. Right. So he walked down there and then you were getting on his about. And then you said something, right? No, you kept getting on, and then he started crying, and then you were like, "Stop! Sh shut up! Shut up! Stop crying! Right. Stop! Stop crying! Stop crying!" Right. And then he kept crying because he was scared. He's terrified, and what you grabbed yes, onto man. him somehow, or he fell. One of the two. I didn't do nothing. That's sad, bro. That is really sad. Bro. Then why does he say Daddy did it? Why? Sad, why does he say Daddy did it? He says daddy does a lot of things. Like what? A, a three-year-old's not gonna lie about what happened to his arm. The audio is more than 11 minutes long. Two parents arguing about their child. Tyreek denies breaking his son's arm, but he does make comments about teaching his son respect. Crystal and Tyreek fight about who ratted them out. She defends herself at points, reminding him she has had his back when it comes to nosy investigators. And now somehow this investigation got brought back up and you're about to lose your So now I really want you to sit and think about it because I rode for you against nah. that detective and the CPS people and they said time and time again that literally kept saying daddy punches me, which you do when he starts crying. What do you do? You make him open up his arms and you punch him in the chest. And then if he gets in trouble, you get the belt out and you okay, do. Okay, so what about you? You, you, you? What you don't do, you... Oh, so I'm just gonna take it. No, I told you don't I told him either. that he gets whooped. I told him that he gets whooped, but I don't use a belt, which is totally you different. You do use a belt, and that's sad. Even my mama said you use a belt. When have I used a belt? When have you seen me use a belt? With when have I used a belt? The three year old is not living with either parent. He was removed from their custody a few weeks ago. We reached out to the Johnson County DA for comment. He did not have a response. Remember, just yesterday, he declined to prosecute because he says he couldn't tell which parent committed the crime. Angie Racono, KCTV5 News. And we reached out to both Tyreek and Crystal and their legal team. We have not gotten any response. Joining us now to talk about the legal implications of this recording is attorney Matt O'Connor. Yeah, the Johnson County DA now has this recording. Matt, you've heard the entire 11 minute recording. Did you hear anything that could lead to more legal problems for either Tyreek or Crystal? Well, first of all, as a human being, what I heard was disgusting. Yeah. Um, it's conspiracy. So the answer is absolutely yes. Um, you've got one person who's appearing to try to put leverage on the other, and it's kind of a back and forth thing. What's lost is the, the violent crime that happened to this child. So you have conspiracy, you have child endangerment. That is where you knowingly put your child at risk of being harmed. Um, so both of them should be charged, in my opinion. I, they should be charged with um, the aggravated assault and endangering the, the welfare of a child. That's a minimum. If they signed any documents that were affirmations or oaths, potentially perjury, um, this opens a huge can of worms. Very interesting. Yeah. Now, as far as Crystal goes, we heard that she, and you talked a little bit about obstruction and conspiracy, that she rode for Tyreek, meaning that she basically covered for him yeah. with a detective. 
Do you think hypothetically that the DA could use that information to get to Tyreek, to try to strike a deal with Crystal, Absolutely. but to go after Tyreek? Yeah, I think you're spot on. I think what I see happening is both of them get charged almost identically, and they, they call it flipping someone. They go to her and they say, if you testify truthfully against him, then you will receive this benefit for truthful testimony. And it's clear there's an imbalance in the relationship and a lot of control issues back and forth, but she's a willing participant in it too. You can't you know, give a pass to her, but you need to be able to have the evidence that is gonna convict him as well. All right, we thank you for the time. This could be a bombshell piece in this investigation. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Thanks. All right, well today Hill and his attorney responded to Wednesday's announcement by DA Steve Howe. Hill's attorneys say that he has cooperated with investigators and answered their questions. In his statement, Hill says, I love and support my family above anything. My son's health and happiness is my number one priority. My focus remains on working hard to be the best person for my family and our community I can be and the best player to help our team win.